Guys, I sat for at least five minutes reading this title and laughing consistently. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's so blunt. It's so just like raw and honest. Maybe you guys, right? I don't know what it is, but either way, um, I'm not saying I am this, but I'm going to read the title guys. All right. Uh, I'm an incel. Ask me anything. Guys, let's check it out. If you could summarize your opinion towards women. Like what I think of them? Yes. I do think they are very important, but. It's how we're starting. <laughs> Guys, yeah, women are important. Uh, extremely important. Um, you know, very, very important. We wouldn't exist without them. Guys, let's get it. Some topics are hard to approach. More okay. and more male hatred against women is rising up. You might call this a new phenomenon. Either the subjects are inaccessible or people are uncomfortable discussing them. If you're an ugly guy, you better get a good job and make some money because nobody's going to want to talk to you. Girls, I will destroy you. You don't deserve to get laid at all! So we found those subjects in person, rented a space. Bro, why are you so angry? ...in Hollywood and invited our audience and any strangers walking by to come inside and ask them anything. Okay, so I've heard of this this like 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 group of guys who just strongly detest women because they can't get women. Um and these are this is this community if I if I'm correct. I'm not trying to judge too harshly, guys. Um but that's a lot to to take in, bro. Like to hate literally half of the planet is just crazy like is it th is it that they strongly dislike them guys i don't know guys listen to my knowledge again they don't like them because they can't get them that's what i know but i could be wrong i'm sure you'll okay. correct me in the comments uh, hey i'm uh brendio i also go by derek okay. i uh, i'm an incel and i'm here to uh self proclaimed questions about the topic Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. So you're an incel? Yes. Why would you ever sign up to do this? Right! I, I suppose I would want to give more of a positive light on this community, which is a very negative light upon it. Okay. okay. Do you think that's a good thing? Yes. Why is that? Because a lot of the boys in this community aren't bad people. But you acknowledge that a good hand... I mean, uh, obviously a lot of... A lot of men are not, and boys are not bad people, obviously. A handful of them are, right? Not a good handful, I'd say a small handful. Who? Well, generally, this is a thing here, guys. And regarding to, like, a lot of groups, like, regardless of whatever, like, standpoint this group may have, the small minority is generally the loudest, right? Um, of every bad group. Of anything. Just understand that. I get that. I, I get it. And uh, maybe I should have understood or guess uh, soaked that in before I started just like, you know, throwing dirt on them potentially right? Uh, based off of the small amount of the loudest people. Right. But uh, listen, I I'm open minded, guys. We're going to we're going to hear it. If it sounds crazy, just let you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to disrespect it openly. But all right. Hurt you or what? Happened? Who hurt you? Oh, that's not a good one. Not a good handful. I would say a small handful. Who? hurt you or what happened what event sort of catalyzed this way of thinking and you getting into this kind of research uh society <laughs> um do you hate women no 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 are they all going to be asking the same question guys because if so this is going to end fast do you have a female role model in your life a female role model yeah like um, a mom or an aunt or a friend i mean i love my mom I wouldn't necessarily consider her a role model, but I do love her quite a bit. If a woman was elected as president of the United States, how would you react? <laughs> um, I don't know. It probably would depend on the on the woman. I, Very socially awkward, guys. I, I, I probably I probably wouldn't be supportive of it, honestly. But <laughs> why do you say that if you don't mind what? asking? I do think that you know men should be the leaders and women should be the caregivers. Oh, okay. Oh God, here we go, guys. Um, all right, so yeah, definitely how it was kind of written like all over the screen earlier. Um, yeah, this is yeah, nah, bro. I'm, I'm uh, listen. I'm gonna try to be nice, guys, but what you're saying is wild, bro. In the, in the you know 
the loving, supporting, and the, and the teachers so in some cases. Since women of color or just women in general have been oppressed by certain systems and other oppressed communities, especially the LGBTQ+, all those, those aren't, don't really fit with the spectrum that incels or you have been talking about. Or is this in California? So why do you think your method... And the reason why I'm saying is just based off the accents. ...of thought is. would help fix what we have today. I probably wouldn't view the things that you might view as oppression as oppression. I have a feeling. Um, I would view it more as uh, how we treat children that we love. We, we control them, but we control them lovingly, not as a slave, not as we're forcing them to do things against their will. I would view it more as... Bro, answer the question. ...lovingly, not as a slave, not as we're forcing them to do things against their will. I would view it more as a, a loving domestic thing in the past. And I would say that if we were to do it in a civilized way, a maybe loving a more, domestic? even a Christian way, even though I'm not really advocating for a certain religion or ideology, um, I would assume that women would probably be happier. And I wouldn't just assume that blindly, I would assume that based on the data that I have seen. What data have you seen that has brought you to this conclusion? Because I'm now curious where I can get this data from. Um, I couldn't reference it offhand, but I believe there was a study that, that um, I, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Okay. What do you think it is about liberal areas oh that God create behavior in women that you think is a problem? Promiscuity leads to increased standards in more primitive aspects such as looks. Okay. Oh God, guys. He's not wrong on in that instance. Well, I'm, you know, I'm not going to just say he's purely wrong because generally the more you do something, the higher your standards become. Absolutely. Um, that's that's a true statement. Um, and that typically <laughs> makes it harder for some people to find a relationship, including sometimes good looking. Yeah, and this is what he's saying here. People, like, There's guys who are much better looking than I am who are having a really hard time finding someone in a place like L.A. or in London or in Auckland, New Zealand. Yeah, these are all places that I personally am not a fan of in the first place um, that he's referring to. Extremely shallow... Um, just shallow, shallow places. Um, he's not wrong very specifically, but I don't want to agree with him. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Hard time finding someone in a place like LA or in London or in Auckland, New Zealand. But yeah, they- Because there's more, there's, there's just more. Probably would have- the, the, the standards of the women there are gonna be a lot higher because they see a lot more. Have a perfectly fine time finding a, a woman somewhere else. So you think that promiscuity is the problem, and if people were more monogamous and more um, withholding, that mm -hmm. would sort of fix society? Actually, yes. I think that if people went back to very specifically not just giving their body to every single person they see on the street, guys, that would probably keep marriages together. You know, not at the rate that they, they, they fail at in the United States of America. Um, with two American partners, they just failed, bro. Um, not saying that pro that uh, that just you know, promiscuity is the, the exact reason why these things fail, but um, if it was to kind of slow down a whole lot, uh, you would start to see that more people are, um, you know, uh, pairing up. You get what I'm saying here, guys? Um, because without it, some women just like sharing the same guy because that's you know because he does he does not honestly fit into the uh the the type of men that you generally see with uh with women he doesn't just based off the aesthetics right i'm not trying to judge him based on it but he does does not seem like someone who gets uh, a lot of women guys um, but then there will be some men who get a, a lot, a lot, a lot, and these men will never in their life settle down with these women. Never. Why? They have too many options. Right? Uh, then they damage them, and then, you know, a couple years, maybe 10, 15 years later, uh, they end up settling for this guy while comparing the entire time to the guy that uh, they once had. Guys, I mean, <laughs> psychology is an interesting thing when it comes to, like, uh, um, like relationships and who people choose to be with. But uh, but back to the point at hand, guys, yes, absolutely. If you stop giving your body to everyone, you probably will be more likely to stay together with people. Yeah, I suppose people are more traditionalists. There have been a few mass
in the past where these actually stated that they were incels or were radicalized by online incels. What do you think about their actions? I condemn their actions. I don't believe in violence. I don't believe violence. I think anyone will. Violence is the solution. I don't believe attacking random people is going to fix anything, whether they're, you okay. know, women or men. I do think that the... Guys, are these their questions or... Or did Jubilee give it to them? The reason why they committed those actions was probably because of out of desperation or, or out of, you know, mental problems that probably could have been prevented had the the right support was in their in their community, in their household. If they, if, you know, if people, you know, saw what they were posting and saw what they were experiencing in life and did something to help them. Was there like a pivot? Guys, he's not, that's not a bad, that's not a bad response. That's, that's absolutely not a bad take right there. Um, but let's move A little on. moment in your life, like a straw that broke the metaphorical camel's back? You know, it's constant years of rejection, no matter who the person was, constant years of rejection in other aspects of my life. It did kind of push me towards more, I suppose, radical um, beliefs, but I suppose they're only like radical, but they're more just old beliefs. Really. Also, guys, really quickly, I would love to see like a visual depiction of the type of woman he's going after. Um, and if I was to see that, then I would understand kind of his issues. I'm almost positive you can, uh, you know, pair bond with someone. Uh, I do think that it is extremely plausible that you can actually do that because um, the majority of the people that I'm guessing are calling themselves incels. I have not actually seen many of them other than the one that's sitting in front of me. Um, but I think if you don't, I think he has the possibility, but maybe he's shooting above his pay grade, if that makes any sense. No, it's, it sounds like, uh, like I had another like metaphor, like death by a thousand cuts. You know, it's not like one pivotal moment. It sounds like a bunch of things built up over time. Yeah. Uh, one of the common criticisms about the incel community is that you feel entitled to sex or intimacy. Do you believe that you deserve? Oh, you're definitely not entitled to that, bro. Deserve sex or intimacy from a woman um i think everybody at some level deserves you don't deserve anything if you don't work for it you don't deserve it period sorry sorry bro you're wrong you're absolutely wrong if you don't work for it you don't deserve it i mean you deserve air uh because it's free and it's around you bro but i don't think you deserve something that you're not very specifically working for um, and if it is something that is um, internal, maybe he needs some type of psychologist. Uh, if he's thinking that his overall physical appearance is not what most women are going to be attracted to, uh, you could change that, right? You get what I'm saying here, guys? So, like, there are so many different things that, that can be worked on um, that, that could need to be worked on. But uh, to say that you deserve something that someone else has doesn't make any sense. Let me see. From a woman. Um, I think everybody at some level deserves someone that they, someone that loves them and, you know, respects them as long as you are also loving and respectful towards that person. You know, they're, they're an equal, you know, you're not like uh, seeking someone beyond yourself. You know, you don't have like too high standards, I suppose, you know. Yeah, but something tells me his standards are extremely high. If you can tell the world about something about being incel that, you know, um, that may not be in the internet or that's overlooked heavily, what would it be? I don't know. I think it's mostly that most of the men are not inherently bad people. A lot of them okay. are just lonely. They yeah. Th okay. Men, I think, in on, on large scale uh, are lonely, like even more so as times are progressing. Uh, social media basically has made men the most lonely they've probably ever been in history. Um, they're like deleting themselves at the rates that are absolutely crazy. Uh, men in 2023 are absolutely um, the loneliest. They are and specifically men that look like him um, or men that look like the average guy, right? The average man is lonely and an end invisible. Keep that in mind. Lonely and invisible to the majority of women, right? Um, so, so yeah, that's a fact. No, no complaints on that one. They just need some help, really. Okay. Would you say that there's anything that other people can do to help guide or just support or? Anything? You know, the the lonely person in your class or the lonely person mm -hmm. in, in in your workplace, maybe. Uh, Maybe he's an incel and he's not letting you know and he's just kind of afraid to, he wants someone positive. Just just be nice, say hi, try and make friends with him. You don't have to date him, you don't have to whatever, just, you know, brighten up someone lonely's day, I suppose. Oh, okay, <laughs> noted. <laughs> Thank you. You don't want to be an incel? No. 
No, Why not? I, I can tell you right now, they don't want to be an end zone. I don't think that that's a thing. Um, the reason why they're kind of espousing all of these just weird worldviews, right, um, is purely, purely because they're in an echo chamber, right? Like, all they do is they talk to people that are just like them, right? Because, again, they're lonely. So that they're literally reaching out for people that are similar to them, having same conversations. And then now they're creating this weird internalized society of echo chambers, back to back to back, guys, right? Um, so, yeah, guys, I don't think they want to be in this but they're kind of but they've gotten so deep into it that they've to the point where they've uh self-proclaimed themselves as uh incels well i mean it's part of the whole involuntarily thing i mean i you know you want to try and escape it you want to be something better you know you want to uh get a wife get a girlfriend get someone who loves you spend spend your life with them and be happy and what's one thing also i can definitely tell you that um a lot of their issues would probably be rectified if they were able to have some slight self-confidence. Um, that that will change them like for the better, guys, right? Uh, so some self-confidence and honestly, leave the country and do not go anywhere in the West, right? Leave the country. What, what I mean by that is leave the United States of America, Canada, uh, the UK, Israel, Australia, leave these these countries very specifically, and you will find a woman. Period. Thing you wish people understood better about you? I don't know. I, I, I guess I, people, I wish people would recognize um, how much effort I'm trying, I suppose. Like, you know, I'm working out typically daily. I've lost over 100 pounds. I'm out there job hunting actively. I don't think people recognize how much effort the incels in general try to put into better that's a good thing he's trying to better himself guys um because as you know guys ho hopefully everyone knows there's no such thing as body positivity for men right um so if he's trying to work on, work on himself to actually be able to attract someone or to be appealing to uh the the modern 2023 20, woman right um then these, these are all things that are going to be beneficial to him in the long run during themselves i would say you know people don't recognize their effort they just assume that they're all like lazy and, and, and sad and angry at women and it sounds like up and from the outside it sounds things like of that nature i suppose okay you don't have to see the bad things in the world and then come out a bad person you can just see the bad things in the world and then improve upon yourself because of them i okay. suppose so you okay. do have hope yeah I, I i have i have hope yeah i'm a very hopeful person i suppose I won't lie, this went a lot differently than I thought it would. I thought, I thought we'd be yelling at each other, you know? It was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you, too. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hmm. Guys, I definitely think the questions could have been a little more, more scathing uh, and felt a lot less like, you know, the producers handed him a piece of paper and said, hey, ask the, the, uh, the guy from a subculture uh, questions, guys. Um, listening to him speak, I feel kind of sad for him right um because i know all he has to do is have just a, a little bit more self-confidence but i know that's a lot easier said than than done like how do you do that like how do you break out of a uh, a world view created by your loneliness your your loneliness and uh, and the fact that you're in an echo chamber how do you break out of that i guess that's probably extremely hard for him um, and he won't leave this until he actually makes it so he's, uh, I guess, somewhat appealing to, to women in this day and age. Good luck, bro. I, I wish you the best, obviously. Um, I don't agree with, with, uh, with none of the things that you were saying in the beginning, because that's just crazy, bro. We definitely need women. Um, so, and we need men. So, there we go. All right, now, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.